I, I often say is I really, I just wish that everybody would do at least one either union campaign or campaign that's, you know, with people who don't, who are not in social media feeds. For that's, that's what I would say now. In the old days, I would say, you know, that weren't academic or weren't whatever, but um, where you have to, where you should walk into a room and figure out how to move a, a potential Trump voter. Um, yeah. To solidarity and strike action with a bunch of black people. I mean, it, you know, I, there, I mean, it, in Philadelphia, there was a moment where I had, we were about to take a strike vote and a, and a nurse who it turned out was married to a cop stuff and said, you know, I, I was in favor of this yesterday, but my husband said, um, because the Philadelphia the Democratic Convention was coming to town, you know, she stood up and said, you know, if my husband says, if we go on strike when the convention's here, all these Black Lives Matter people are going to come up here and I don't want anything to do with that. And like, yeah, th these are constant wow. moments. So you can't just say, and that's not a divisive one. That's a, from where is she coming? Um, I know she's a great leader. So from where is she coming? And how am I going to help her work through this moment? How are we going to collectively work through a really difficult real life moment um, and come out of it on the other side winning and united and not divided? You know, it's just, um, it's, a, it's a hell of a lot of work. It, I hear organizers say the term, you can't take your toys and go home. And I love that term. Um, mostly because it makes us all just babies in little bathwater as we are, but <laughs> it makes us humble. But it's so true, like whether it is a negotiation with, you know, within the Biden administration or in a union organizing meeting, it's like you, the option of just leaving isn't available to you. Um, and so what are you going to do? Josh? Yeah, that's brilliant. I mean, there's so much to say. I mean, I think to to an online left audience, one thing I would say is just that um, if your primary relationship to movements is about your identity as a leftist, that is going to make that that's what makes people so vulnerable to all the nonsense division, right? Yeah. I mean, the the online left seems obsessed with debating who's a real leftist or a fake leftist and who's a sellout and we need to different. And, and it's like, when you're in a real camp, nobody cares about your political ideology. You yeah. know, I mean, I remember when I first started um, doing indigenous solidarity work with land land based fights uh, and was supporting a community um, in Grassy Narrows that was fighting a logging corporation called Warehouser. And I was working for a um, environmental organization and I went there imagining, because I came out of that, right? And I was imagining that one thing I needed to do was demonstrate to the community that I had the right political perspective. And very quickly I was smacked up. So they're like, we don't care what you believe. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we care what you do. What do you have to offer us? What, what are you, and are you gonna still be here? When, when, when things get rough, when things get hard, and then you build relationships through going through difficult stuff, you know? And I'm, even though my ba I, I have done a lot of direct action training, I'm not someone who uh, romanticizes civil disobedience and romanticizes escalation for its own sake, but I will say that when I am in those kinds of situations, the people who I trust most are not the people who have the best analysis. It's people who will, are you going to put your body in between a police baton? And me, you know, like, are you going to show up for me when it's time to do jail support? And I think that's one of the, you know, like, so solidarity is built through, through actions it's not it's not built through agreement and if if you if you are and th this is the thing that that frustrates me about the uh, online left is that it refers to itself as the left not as like we are one milieu amongst many different sectors and it doesn't it's not self-aware of its role in a larger ecosystem and then as a result of that it, it, it it's very attached to this idea of um of 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 who's legitimate or not you know and yeah. and um and that that makes all the drama just go go wild right and and that's that's why when i see a lot of the debates online i'm just like what are you even talking about like mm -hmm. you're, you're you're questioning the like the 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 integrity of aoc when you have no idea what the conditions that she's in have you been in those conditions before <laughs> like i trust people who've been in the same conditions before that's why i you know and so yeah.